Hello friends, in today's video we will discuss how to measure temperature in instrumentation. This video is going to be very helpful and also enhance your field knowledge. So don't skip the video and watch it completely. Let's start it. For accurate temperature control, two points are very important. Let's discuss what are these two points. The first part of controlling is to measure the temperature. Measuring is important because you cannot control a parameter which you don't measure. Just think about it. How can you control a parameter which you don't measure? To measure the temperature, some instruments are required. Let me explain you what are these. So pay attention because these instruments are also asked in interviews. The first one is temperature gauge. These gauges are used in industries to measure the temperature. Temperature gauges also show the readings of temperature. The second instrument is resistance temperature detector and the short form is RTD. RTD is also mounted in field to measure the temperature. Apart from RTD, thermocouples are also used to measure the temperature. To measure different temperature ranges, different type of thermocouples are used. The second part of controlling is to transmit the measured signal. Transmission means to send the measured signal to an instrument. Now we will discuss the need of signal transmission. Why we transmit a measured signal? Temperature gauge shows its reading on the remote location. Remote location means the place at which temperature gauge is mounted. In the image, temperature gauge is shown. You can also see its readings. RTD and thermocouples do not show the readings at location where they are mounted. In this image, RTD is shown and it is not showing any reading. Let me explain you the need of RTD and thermocouple while temperature gauge is showing the readings. There may be two reasons for this. Now we will discuss these reasons. First reason is RTD and thermocouple readings are not shown at the place they are mounted. So their readings are transmitted to any controller or indicator using wires or cables. Here indicators and controllers are shown in the images. The signals of RTD and thermocouples are transmitted to any indicators or controllers. By controllers, we control the temperature in industries, so RTD thermocouple signal transmission is necessary. Practically, we can't see all the temperature gauges signals at remote location, so signals are transmitted through a wire and are shown on indicator and controlled by a controller. The other reason is, for controlling a parameter, we need some feedback signals or input signals. You can better understand by this image. Here, feedback signal is shown by the arrow. RTD thermocouple signals work as feedback or input signals. So, the signals are transmitted to a controller. These controllers may be PID controller or PLCDCS.
in the images plc dcs and pid controller are shown pid controller and plc dcs are widely used in industries now come to the signal transmission and it is done by two methods let me explain you about these methods and the first method is direct method as it is clear by its name itself the signals of rtd and thermocouple are transmitted directly to any controller like plc pid or any indicator wire are directly connected to plc dcs pid or indicator in the images pid controller and indicator connection diagrams are shown rtd and thermocouple connections are shown with the help of left and right circles rtd and thermocouples wires are connected according to connections controller and indicator show these readings and controller also controls the temperature according to set point now come to the second method of signal transmission and it is by using temperature transmitter in this method rtd and thermocouple signal is first connected to a temperature transmitter and then sent to any controller or indicator in these images temperature transmitters are shown apart from these transmitters some transmitters are also used and these temperature transmitters are shown in these images rtd thermocouple wires are connected to these temperature transmitters let me explain more about temperature transmitters like other transmitters the output of temperature transmitter is usually 4 to 20 milliampere signal and 24 volt dc supply is required to on the transmitter now we will discuss why we need temperature transmitters while we can connect rtd or thermocouple directly usually temperature transmitter is used when signal is provided to two different instruments or more than one instrument like a plc and an indicator to provide transmitter signal to more than one instruments signal isolators are used and these are shown in the images signal isolators are used in plc panels and have one input and two or four outputs its input signal is 4 to 20 milliampere signal and its output signals are also 4 to 20 milliampere signals so two outputs of signal isolators may be connected one at plc and other at some indicator so that was our video thanks for watching this if you like the video do like subscribe and share it with your friends